We're unboxing another Converse All-Star. Super excited. The Chuck Taylor is definitely, undeniably, one of the greatest sneakers of all time. Let's go. Hey everybody, what's up, how's it going? My name is Sean, thanks for being here. How many pairs of Chucks do you own, man? How old were you when you had your first pair of Chuck Taylors? Do you have a preference? Do you like the lows? Do you like the highs? I personally have probably four pairs. Uh, so let's see, I got, I got three pairs of lows, uh, black, red, and blue. I got one pair of the high tops. Okay, four pairs, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't worn those pairs in years. Um, yeah, but, but this pair excites me. This is a special kind of Converse All-Star by way of makeup and design language, materials used, and uh, most importantly, the, the history and what it commemorates, okay? This, my friends, is the Breaking Down Barriers Celtics colorway of the Converse Chuck 70. We're gonna take a look at the box. That's, uh, so you could make out the, the lines on a basketball court, right? Uh, just going around the sneaker, Hardwood Classics. Yeah, got, you got the Hardwood Classics branding right there. Converse in front. Converse logo here. Converse logo and sneaker in formation. Let's open the treasure chest, the flip top box. Plain tissue paper. This just screams Boston, man. Look at that. Oh man, that's ridiculously good. Can I just say that uh, the, the Chuck 70s are different from your regular Chuck Taylors? The, the Chuck 70s are more expensive because they're just made differently. They, they look different and you instantly recognize it, especially if you own a pair of regular Chucks. They're glossier. The, the gl you know the glue is just better and uh, it's, it's a heavier sneaker. In, in, in the realm of Chucks, heavier must be better, I guess bring out the other sneaker okay oh man this is a loud sneaker green and gold you got gold friggin eyelets man so let's go with the story behind the pair okay guys uh, first thing you need to know that this is one of the sneakers in uh, the hardwood classics breaking down barriers Chuck 70 pack Okay, uh, this happens to be the Celtics colorway. And the player that they commemorate with these sneakers is Chuck Cooper, jersey number 11, he played for the Boston Celtics. Okay, why is that guy important? He is one of the first three African-American players to play for the NBA. And Boston obviously drafted, well, I don't know if they drafted back in the day, but he was one of the first three African-American players to play for the NBA. and. This commemorates that moment, this commemorates the man, this commemorates the team. All right, so that's a loaded sneaker right here in terms of meaning and significance. So let's do the details now, okay? Let's take a look at that sneaker. That's a shiny, man. Shiny, shimmering, slippery sneaker. Because that's made of satin. The uppers are made of satin. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an homage to the, the 1950s, the NBA of the 1950s, where the jerseys were made of satin, okay? And it's green, of course, to commemorate the Boston Celtics, right? Green and gold. Um, I just love how the Chuck 70s are heavy, and you know it's a good kind of heavy because you know they're gonna be sturdy, okay? You have HWC here, and HWC stands for Hardwood Classics. Okay, and just go around the sneaker, look at the ankle patch. That's a 1950s style ankle patch. Uh, you see the white stitching, of course, all over the sneaker. And you have this yellow, white, and green accent here by the bottom of the upper, just before, the, just before it hits the midsole. And the license plate here at the back is a 1950s style license plate as well. Underneath, you have your standard brown, Chuck Taylor outsole, right? Looking at the tongue right here, you have this cool stitch pattern. Okay, and on the right sneaker, 
you have your, I showed this to you earlier, right? You have the Chuck Cooper number 11 Boston Celtics marking, right? Converse Chuck Taylor athletic shoes, Chuck Cooper number 11. And you don't have that on the left sneaker, okay? And uh, look at the, the, the lining on the inside part of the sneaker. That's, uh, that's green plaid with yellow polka dots. Interesting. Our insoles have an interesting detail as well. On the left sneaker, you have Chuck Taylor Converse breaking down barriers. Okay, that's the left sneaker. And on the right, you have the NBA logo, HWC, Hardwood Classics. The pair goes for 4,990 pesos. And just a tip for you who have never owned a pair of Chucks before, go one full size down at least. Like for me, I'm a natural size 10, but with Chucks, I buy a size nine. And in some cases, you have to go one and a half sizes down. Size nine fits me, but size eight and a half fits me as well. They have big sizing. If you're a 10, go at least one full size down. Remember that. And that's it for the unboxing and review of the Breaking Down Barriers Chuck Taylor 70s. What do you think of the sneaker? Hit me up in the comments. Let's have a conversation. You guys always be safe. I'll see you next time. Our insoles have an interesting detail as well. On the left sneaker, you have Chuck Taylor Converse Breaking Down Barriers. Okay, that's the left sneaker. And on the right, you have the NBA logo, 